Scenes of protest did not stop Mike Zingali's son from coming to the University of Missouri. But that's what we were exposed to when we came here. And it didn't, it didn't deter us. But a weekend, Zingali's son, who Mike asked we Someone not name, and his roommate wanted to join a fraternity. He really pushed for the wanting to join, and we, we, we let in. We should have held down firmer. And my son went to the one, the second one that the, that the roommate knew about. Okay. So. Which was? Kappa Alpha Order. Kappa Alpha was suspended for an alleged hazing incident and misuse of alcohol. After an 18-year-old was drinking to the point of going to the hospital. He never mentioned anything about physical hazing, so he never had a reason to say anything about, here's what's going on, here's what they're doing, here's what I'm doing. And the nurse told her, which my wife didn't tell me, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. It, yes, so, so that's what we, uh, we had to deal with until he came out of the coma. The incident report from K.A. says Zingali's son chugged vodka with other pledges the early morning of September 27th. Members couldn't wake him up around 10 o'clock, and that's when they called an ambulance. But the Zingalis say medics found him foaming at the mouth and cold to the touch, which the incident report does not mention. He could have been dead on that floor in that room by himself, and we wouldn't know anything. MU can, in order of severity, put a Greek organization on probation, suspension, or withdrawal recognition. But ABC 17 News dug through records and found that being on probation doesn't automatically mean you'll be suspended. Records show three fraternities and one sorority violating probation just to have it extended a semester. Just once did a group have its recognition taken away while on probation. Greek organizations that received the worst penalty can still stay and operate nearby. The university withdrew recognition of Sigma pie in the spring for hazing, for example. But since fraternities own their houses, the fraternity can still exist there, no longer bound by the school's rules. Kappa Alpha told ABC 17 News it, quote, respects the University of Missouri, its conduct process, and the administrators on campus. Kappa Alpha Order has its own process and investigative procedures and works to collaborate with each university. KA remains under investigation by the Office of Student Conduct, the same office that sanctioned it in 2010 for hazing. It's been more than a century since anyone at Mizzou died from hazing, but Zingali tries to put himself in the shoes of parents who have lost their child. Yeah, I, can't, I couldn't imagine it. I, could, I couldn't imagine a school and a system letting it go on.